Namaste. Today I am going to discuss about classification of cost. In previous videos, I have detailedly discussed about cost. Simply, we can say that cost is sum of total expenditure. That's what total expenses. If we want to calculate the exact cost price of any product or services, then we have to sum the total expenses of different steps. Simply, there are different types of account. One is financial accounting, second one is cost accounting, and third one is managerial accounting. And previous videos, I have already discussed about financial accounting and somehow the meaning of cost accounting as well. Today, I am going to discuss about the classification of different cost. The first one is on the basis of production process. That is very important for numerical part as well because ultimately we have to calculate the total expenses or total cost of any particular product or services. So on the basis of this production process, there are different steps, you know, process means steps. On the basis of these different steps, ultimately we can calculate how much total cost of any product or services that you have to identify. So the first on the basis of production process, this company pailo ko prime cost. This is the very important prime cost is simply we can say that sum of direct expenses. Yeah, we know that everywhere there are two types of expenses, direct and indirect expense. And the sum of different three direct expenses is known as prime cost. And highest expenditure of any product or services is known as prime cost because the huge expenditure we have to spend on raw materials. Then second largest expenses on labor and other is third huge expenditure is other expenses. So the sum of different direct expenses is known as prime cost. Direct material, direct labor and direct other expenses. Ko sum nahi ke amru, uh, total prime cost ho. So stock there are two types. Already I mentioned stock. There are two types of stock. One is opening. Opening stock and then closing stock. Opening stock, there are three types. Raw material, raw material ko stock, work in process, double IP and finished goods. Tinta stock, opening stock and tinta closing stock. Okay? Just to prime customer, you want to agari, I mean, Cost of material consumed calculation garnu parse. Cost of material consumed means opening stock of raw material, purchase of raw material, and closing stock of raw material. Yeah, mainly bande khujya kuro ke bani. Either opening or closing stock of raw material is given. That we have to consider with this prime cost. Opening cost we have to plus every steps, and closing stock we have to minus. We have to reduce from related heads. Then the factory cost, we know it is sum of, factory cost is a sum of prime cost plus factory overhead. There are three overheads, factory overhead, factory overhead, office overhead and selling overhead. The sum of prime cost plus factory overhead is known as factory cost. Step by step, those expenditure, those expenses which are related to factory, within factory, factory activities, factory process are known as factory overhead. 
and office overhead those expenses which are related to office and administrative process are called office overhead and then prime cost plus factory cost plus office overhead is known as cost of production this is the very important step cost of production is the sum of prime cost factory overhead and office overhead if there is opening and closing stock of worker in process that we have to plus minus in factory overhead or factory cost opening stock of work in progress we have to add in factory overhead closing stock factory overhead bada ghatauni ra tyo aayeko result prime cost ma jodi sakepachi factory overhead auncha tes pachi office overhead jodi sakepachi then there is a cost of production and if there is opening stock and closing stock of finished goods then after calculating after determining the cost of production opening stock we have to plus and closing stock we have to minus opening stock jodi closing stock chai hamle ghatauna parne huncha then on the basis of total cost the cost of production then we have to plus selling and distribution over it because all the goods and services are produced for sales purpose ra if there is different expenses for promotional activities for advertisement for salesman commission such expenses are included within selling overhead so cost of production plus selling overhead is equals to total cost ultimately the main objective of cost accounting is known as total cost ille chai cost accounting ko main objective bhaneko how to calculate total cost of any goods and services so the sum of these different steps prime cost plus factory cost that is cost of production plus selling and distribution over it that is total cost on the basis of production process we have to distinguish determine the different cost different expenditure on the basis of these overheads factory overhead office overhead and selling and distribution overhead related expenses are recorded on this related overhead so this is the very important for numerical chapter because numerical is cost sheet total expenses ko sheet we have to prepare after some times then these process are very important for preparing cost sheet the second one second classification of cost is on the basis of elements so there are major three elements one is material second one is labor and third one is other expenses ultimately without purchasing raw materials we cannot produce any goods so for produce production of goods we need to purchase different types of material and simply material there are two types yapani material there are two types one is direct material another is indirect material similarly labor pani direct and indirect other expenses is also direct material materials and indirect okay direct materials are used in prime cost already mentioned indirect materials are used in factory overhead so all the materials are important for calculating cost of any goods similarly labor second element is labor labor is also known as wage cost and similarly there are two types of labor one is direct and another is indirect direct labor is used in prime cost and indirect labor is used in factory overhead other expenses office expenses selling and distribution expenses different other expenses also there are two types direct and indirect direct expenses are related to 
prime cost and indirect other expenses are related to different other overheads, factory overhead, office overhead, and selling and distribution overhead. Ultimately, the sum of the ten type sum line equal to the sum of three overhead is total cost. Upon it, total cost nay. So, pratek every classification has same objectives to identify the total cost of any goods and services. Then the third classification on the basis of function. Function ko basis ma again there are three types of cost. One is production cost, administrative cost, selling and distribution cost. Ultimately the sum of these three cost is also known as total cost. In ki every classification ko yote objective ho how to determine, how to calculate total cost of any goods and services. So, cost of production is the sum of prime cost, factory cost and um, office overhead. Office overhead it is a kind of administrative expenses. All the expenditure which are related to selling and distribution are known as selling and distribution cost. Number 4, on the basis of variabilities, yeah, it is important one. There are three costs, fixed cost, variable cost and semi-variable cost. On the basis of variability, on the basis of behavior, on the basis of nature, there are three types of cost. Fixed cost is the constant, fixed up to some limit. This is not changed. It depends on the production capacity of the business organizations. But there are different types of fixed assets, rent, salary, depreciation, etc. are fixed cost. Variable cost means it is vary, it is changeable on the basis of production process. If we produce more and more goods, then the variable cost is more increased. If raw material purchase more, variable cost is more. If labor we consume more, variable cost is more. If raw materials and labor are reduced, automatically variable cost will be reduced. One important thing is that total fixed cost is constant, but variable, you say, per unit fixed cost is variable. Very serious thing, right? Listen very carefully. Total fixed cost is constant, but variable per unit fixed cost is variable because if we produce more units, variable cost is less. If we produce uh, more units, variable cost is less. So for example, the rent of room is rupees 4000. room ko rent 4000. If we produce, how many produce 100 units? And if we produce 500 units, and if we produce 1000 units. The capacity of to produce is 1000 units. So, a variable cost 40. Eight rupees, forty rupees. For example, all right, say, if the total fixed cost is four thousand, for maximum capacity is one thousand units. The variable cost, if we produce one hundred units, only one hundred unit matter production vavani. Fixed cost per unit is forty. If we produce five hundred units, eight variable you per unit eight. But if we produce thousand, the per unit is four. Actually, fixed cost per unit change. If we produce more unit, less per unit fixed cost. If we produce less, per unit fixed cost is more because total fixed cost is constant. Similarly, variable cost is per unit variable cost is fixed. Always keep in your mind. Per unit variable cost is fixed. If we purchase a marker, one piece. Per unit is fixed. If we purchase 1000, per unit fixed. If we purchase more and more raw, 
any raw materials or marker the total total variable cost is increased but per unit variable cost is always constant fixed uncha thakkai reverse wa and semi variable means it is mix of of both fixed cost and variable cost because fixed cost constant variable cost is changeable if some extent the cost is fixed and if we consume more quantity more unit then the variable cost is used so the for example of this one is telephone bill telephone bill mark k call sum of fixed cost also then the call bardai gaya bhane per unit per call chai variable cost fix huncha similarly yo water electricity water bill electricity bill telephone bill bill haru yasta bill haru ko nature chai semi variable huncha ultimately yo tin tai cost ta hamle jodne ho bhane fixed cost variable cost and semi variable cost total jodne ho bhane that is again we call total cost ultimately on the basis of variability pani to find out the total cost of any goods and services finally the fifth one on the basis of controllability okay it is the important one if we control by internal management internal process internal mechanism this cost is called controllable cost if we can control if beyond the control of management process that is we call uncontrollable cost so on the basis of control controllability there are two cost one is controllable and another is uncontrollable this is based on environment environment already i have discussed about sort yes w o t sort analysis yeah it is the important one very very important strength weaknesses opportunity and threats these four words are always depends on two environment one is internal environment another is external environment similarly internal environment internal management internal factor le control garna sakine cost la ke bancha controllable cost bancha which we can't control beyond our control that is we call external environment external environment cannot be controlled by management process and that is we call uncontrollable cost ultimately the sum of controllable and uncontrollable cost is known as total cost yeah we can control somehow purchase work of material we can control but the price of material we can't control workers who are working in factory we can control but the price of different workers in outside the market we cannot control wastage we can control the interest rate we cannot control the price of fuel we cannot control politically change bhara price ma kai chai fluctuate bhaya bhane we can't control such controllable and uncontrollable cost is known as total cost so these are the very important factors important classification of cost because on the basis of these different classification ultimately we can calculate total cost of any product and services so this is a very important for grade 12 management students because there are three types of accounting system already i mentioned one is financial accounting second one is cost accounting and third one is managerial accounting but this is important part of cost accounting and in previous videos exactly what is cost i had mentioned detail about that what are the objectives advantages of cost and how cost is calculated and what are its importance benefit that already we mentioned and in previous videos again i will discuss about cost and it is my request to you all my dear students and concerned authorities listeners please like comments subscribe my